Hello, it's James and welcome to our ninth Risk OS programming tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at application structure and we're going to be looking at getting an icon into the icon bar. I realise at the moment you can't see my icon bar, but I'll change the camera angle uh, for me to get onto that. So excellent, uh, let's get started. I've got my tutorial 6 folder open and we need to create an application directory. Now it's the same as a normal directory, but we have an exclamation mark in front of its name. So we're just going to call this tut6. And here's our tut6. Now if we try and double click on that, it's going to say file, whatever the directory is, exclamation mark run, not found. Um, so in order to get into this directory, we're going to have to shift double click on it. There we go. Now we're going to need our run image file in there. So I'm going to drag that in. We're going to need our template file in there. Um, but still, if we double click on it, it's going to say run not found. So it is looking for a file, which is exclamation mark run. Now that's going to be in a bay file. So let's make a new bay file. Let's make it. So what we're going to do is the first line is going to be like this set. I'm going to call it tot 6 dir obey dir. So let me explain this line. Set, we're making a global variable, uh, environmental variable, um, calling it tot 6 and it is of type dir. We always need that for risk OS variables actually quite useful. Um, then after that we have a bay dir and it's in these um, greater than less than uh, bracket like things. I'm um, that's how we that's how we do variables. It's, it's just like in Windows um, in CMD where you put um, percentage signs around variables that you make. Next now that we've set the directory we need to run the file. So oh don't forget what I've just said. There we go. Tut six dir and it's risk os, so it's a dot, not a slash. Run image. Lovely. So that's that. Um, now, the reason why um, we set it to the obey dir is because this is a obey an obey file. When we run it, the obey dir is set to the folder that run image is in. So brilliant. Let's save that as exclamation mark run. And we'll drag that into that folder. So this time when we double click on it, it says file template not found. So we need to make our file, our application, always check this folder for templates. So we're going to do that by opening our source code, opening the tut6 file and here, wimp open template. We're going to add just before the templates um, string bit, we're going to add tot6 dir, just like um, in our obey file. So that's now going to look at that environmental variable and then look for templates um, inside that folder. So if we save that, um, we now need to make a change to our make file. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so instead of putting run image here, it's going to put run, run image inside the tot6 um, folder. So if I go exclamation mark, tut6. Now it is slash and the reason why it's slash is because um, GCC is ported from um, Unix and the way they've ported it means that we need to use Unix file extent, uh, filing notation, whatever you call it. So if we save this, um, brilliant. Now it doesn't work now. I'm going to delete these two files just to show that there's just to make sure that it is actually making the run image in here. We're going to open our, we're going to set the directory here. Um, okay, so it doesn't work now. We're going to open the GCC um, terminal. We're going to hit make and wait for it to build. Oh, it's working. Brilliant. So it's built the file. Now if we double click on it, it works. And it doesn't matter where it's set to. If I set the directory to this folder here, it still works because it's not getting templates from the current directory. It's getting it from um, the directory, which is pointed to by our environmental variable. Lovely. So uh, next we're going to start looking at getting stuff on the icon bar. So for this, 
we need an icon. Now, I'm a cheat. I, I have no artistic ability whatsoever. So I'm going to just nick an icon. Now, if you look in your SD card, I don't know if this is the same for any other um, any other device. This is just the Raspberry Pi, I think. Um, but if you have a look in Documents, Books, here we have Beginner's Guide to WIMP. Now, this is absolutely excellent. Um, I'll open it for you and show you. Um, a lot of the stuff in my tutorials um, is made by me having a look at this and just translating it from basic to uh, C, which is a complete pain, I'm not gonna lie, because um, I don't know if you can see, but their, their software interrupts look like this. And have to pass them blocks of memory with no names, no type checking or anything. Well, no types, it's basic, but um, it is actually brilliant. And if we have a look, it has an apps folder. And in here we have a test uh, folder. And I'm just going to nick this icon here. So if I look in there, here we go. Here we have our sprites. So I'm going to pull these sprites into my tutorial six, uh, touch six app. Brilliant. Let's have a look at them. We'll have a look at this Sprites 22, because this is for the type of screen that I have. Um, in here, we've got two things. One's called test, one's called sm test. Um, small test and test. Now, it's very simple. It's just this. Um, it's just a dot. And I'm going to load that as my icon. Hello, I've adjusted my camera angle so that you can see my icon bar since we will be using it today. Um, okay, so first of all, we need to edit our run file so that it loads our icon sprites um, into the WIMP so that we can access them. So I'm just going to write icon sprites, and then tot6 dir.sprites. Um, that's what they're called yep brilliant so let's save that let's get on to building our um let's get on to actually building our icon so how i'm going to do this is i'm going to create a new uh file new set of files just for the icon bar um in the next tutorial i'm going to be going on to a better way of structuring applications and a better way of linking it all because you'll see quite soon that our top six um file is going to get really 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 crowded um anyway let's go on with it we're going to create a new file include utils.h this is going to be our header file so I'm going to save this as, I think I'll save it as icon bar. Um, add it here. And then I'm going to need to make the C file. So hashtag include uh, icon bar dot H. Brilliant. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to look at how an icon is made. So if we go and get our help up, um, let's have a look for something that looks good. So here we have something that says create icon. Let's have a look at that. Brilliant. So we need to make something called wimp icon create, and it will return a handle, but we're not actually going to use the handle this once. Um, so we need to, yeah, we need to create something wimp, wimp icon create. So let's make a function called um, add icon to bar. Brilliant. It's not going to take any any um, variables. So first thing we need to do is we need to um, we need to make this icon wimp icon create. So wimp icon create. Um, we'll just call this 
ib per icon bar create. I know that's lazy, but I'm feeling quite lazy. So in this w part of this struct, um, we need we need to tell it where it's going to go. We want it in the icon bar right. We want it down here in this corner. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, ib cur dot um, w equals wimp icon underscore bar underscore right. Brilliant. Next, we've got this icon to make. So ib cur dot icon dot so extent. Now, this is standard for all icons. Um, what we do is we set the x naught equal to zero. Um, I'm going to copy this, copy this line. So it's right out over and over again. So we're going to set the y zero to zero. We're going to set the x one to 68. And we're going to set the y one to 68. Brilliant. Um, icon flags. So we want ibcr dot icon dot flags. Is it dot flags? Yeah, dot flags. We want to set that equal to. Ooh, let's have a look. Um, yeah, we don't want text, but we do want a sprite. So wimp underscore icon underscore sprite. Uh, what else do we want? We don't want a border. We don't care about it centering anything. Uh, it's not indirected. But we do want button stuff. I was just checking that there wasn't anything else we needed. So we want button click. Wimp underscore button. Oh, my screen's getting clouded. Button underscore click. And we're going to need to shift that by uh, wimp underscore icon underscore button underscore type underscore shift. Brilliant. So that's our um, flag's done. What was next? Um, next we want, there it all is, data. So the only data we need is this sprite. So um, wimp underscore, oh no, what am I doing? I, icon bar create dot icon dot um, data. It was dot data, yep, dot data dot, um, where is it? There it is, data dot sprite. Right, and we want to um, we want to do some copying here, so we're going to use our string copy command. So that's the that's where we're going. What we need to do is we need to um, copy the name in. So if you remember, um, let's go find our directory, our application directory. Here we go. Oops, I've opened it by accident. If we go and we have a look into sprites oh, twenty two. Uh, it was exclamation mark test. So that's what we're going to call it here. Exclamation mark test. And the max is 12. So there we go. That is our icon bar create variable made. Oh, I've got a lot open. Let me just close everything. Um, oh, there we go. Next, we are going to. Um, what do we need to do next? So we're creating an icon. Icon. Okay, so we actually need to call this. So we need wimp underscore icon underscore create. And then what it takes is it takes a pointer to that. So we're going to go to the address of ibcr. Um, lovely. So when we call this, what should happen is it should create 
the icon in the icon bar. So I'm going to add this to our header file. Oh, let's save it first. Hmm. It's currently not letting me save it. What's going on? Oh, it does this sometimes. Right. So I'm going to save it as icon bar. And we're going to save that in our C directory, which is that one. So we're going to close that and open our touch six. Um, we're going to include icon bar dot, dot h. Oh yeah, we also need to. Sorry. There we go. We need to add our the, our function to icon bar dot h. Um, and when we've opened our template, it doesn't really matter where we put this, um, as long as it's before the wimp poll, we're going to call that. Um, we're going to call our function just like that. So let's save that. Finally, we need to edit our make file. Um, we need to add gcc c. Now, if like me, we're using the riscos shared c library. Add this. Uh, if not, don't. Uh, iOS lib colon dash o. We'll call this icon bar dot o, and it's icon bar dot c. And then we need to add that to this list as well. Icon bar dot o. Save that. Set the directory here. Let's make it. See how many mistakes I've made. Always makes me nervous doing this bit. <laughs> Come on. Oh, in function add icon bar expected. Ooh, so thirteen. <laughs> oh no. Error expected identifier. Ah, uh, I've got it the wrong way around. It's create underscore icon. The variable is called icon create and the function is called wimp create icon. I'm sorry about that. Don't be as silly as me. Let's try that again. I don't think there'll be a single tutorial where I don't make a silly mistake like that. There we go. That's compiled. Um, so we can see the icon bar down here. So when we open it, you'll notice that we have something in the icon bar. That's brilliant. That's actually worked. And when we close it, it goes away. Wow. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, but it's not very useful at the moment. We want to make it so we can actually click on it. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to keep on going. <laughs> first things first, we want, what do we want to do? Mm, yeah, let's do it. So let's make it so when we click on, okay, we'll make it so the window doesn't load initially, but when we click on the icon bar, it then loads, um, it then opens. So, um, right, what we'll do is here, we'll comment out this line. This is the Wimp open window. So when we, when we open, when we open our application, it's not going to run that line. The window won't open. Um, now we want another mouse event. So but we're going to have to put an if statement in. We can't switch. Um, uh, hmm. 
yeah, we can't switch the block pointer um, because it's in a different um, wimp underscore w. It's in a different place. It's down here in the icon bar. So we have to do this. We have to go if. Let's get my help up. Um, let's look at block. Oh, what's going on? So, um, where was I? Here we go. If block dot pointer dot w equals wimp ah uh, equals equals sorry wimp underscore icon underscore bar. Um, then what we want to do is we want to we want to first of all load window into block load window into block that's the function we made in tutorial 6 itself um, window block then we're going to call wimp underscore open underscore window that takes the address of block dot open lovely so yeah let's see if that works so I'm going to save that um, we're going to make it Brilliant, let's have a look. So we open it, nothing happens. We go down, we click on this red dot, and our window appears. That's brilliant. So, um, and we close the window and it disappears, it all disappears. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, weirdly enough, because we haven't put any constraints in, if you just click on that, if you just click on it loads of times, you can make loads of windows. Uh, and when you close one of them, they all disappear. Um, but yeah, we'll. I don't know what's going on there? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I think if you hold down Shift and hit Close, then yeah, it minimizes it. I don't really know. I've been having difficulties here. Um, but anyway, that's our tutorial done today. Um, next tutorial, what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at menu clicking. Because um, at the moment, if we open our app that we've just made. Or six, you'll notice that it doesn't matter which mouse button we use, I've used all three there, it will open a window. Uh, we're going to look at just menu clicking and creating menus. Um, after that, we're going to be looking at um, making our application slightly more complicated, which will bring up another problem, and we're going to go on to pointers to functions, which is my favourite um, favorite pointer of them all. Brilliant. So I hope that made sense. Um, see you next time.